In seven miles, turn left onto East Davis Avenue. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new trucking vlog. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be eating truck stop food for the next two days. I'm kind of scared for this challenge, man, not gonna lie. I feel like my stomach's gonna hate me, and I feel like tonight's delivery is gonna be a hard one, if you know what I mean. There should probably be a truck stop around here somewhere. I don't think so, though. I think the nearest one is... Hey Siri, how far is the nearest truck stop? One option I see is Page Truck Stop on East Page Avenue in Tulare. It adds 50 minutes to your route. Do you want that one? Ooh. No, thank you. Damn. So see, I'm, I'm the closest truck stop is 30 miles away from me. I'm not even heading that way either. All right, guys, we got a little bit of an issue. They just told me that one of the orders wasn't going to be ready until 10. Hey Siri, call to me again. Hey, tu Miguel, me está diciendo Kingsburg uh, Cornerstone que la de Shasta no va a estar lista hasta las 10. Es que te den lo que esté listo. No más lo que esté listo entonces. Mm -hmm. uh, he told me to pretty much leave, pick up whatever's ready and leave what it's not. Because this, this is the thing about this, guys. So if we sit around waiting, this what is this guy going to do? This guy better not get no wild hair up his booty and try to go at the same time as me. Um, if we... If we sit around and wait for the product, it makes us late to all the other customers. We got multiple deliveries, it's not just only one. It's always at least 10 deliveries a night. Oh, man, I'm hungry. I don't got time for this. Give me what's ready and let's go, because your boy is hungry. I haven't been to this place in at least a year. This is how, I know. This is how we know que el jale ya viene, because we start coming to these places a lot more often once it gets busy or even make an appearance at these places once it gets busy. Alrighty, we got that. Let's park this baby. I always get scared that I'm not gonna see someone right here. Door five. Oh, I forgot what door I was. That's something that always happens as a truck driver. You always forget what door they give you the minute you walk out of the office. I don't know why. I have the habit of being like, uh, as soon as they give me a door, I'll be like, door five, door five, door five, door five, door five, door five, in my head until I get to there. And... What sucks about this challenge is that I have food in my truck. Like, I have stuff that I can make myself out of my air fryer, but I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna stick to this damn uh, challenge, and I'm not gonna eat. Let's see if I can make this little tight of a turn real quick. Should be pretty easy because this guy's right out there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Not too bad. Not too bad. But now it's time to stop at the truck stop. First truck stop. Let's see what they have here. Oh, not the entrance. They got a taqueria. Oh, it's close. They got some sandwiches. 
not eating that. I'm gonna get myself a drink. What kind are these, boss? Can I get, I'll, I'll just get one of those. Um, yeah, please. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. All right, so I got myself a shredded beef and bean uh, chimichanga with a drink. I don't know how long those things were sitting there, but they didn't look too fresh. So you got some jalapeno hot sauce, a chimichanga. Damn, why did I say it like that? Chimichanga? Might as well say carne salad. This is a solid five out of ten. Not bad. Not the best. Definitely not fresh. Not a bite. Definitely about to get to some of in a little bit. Kobe! Woo. Not gonna lie though, that chimichanga was not that bad. Like I was saying, it just wasn't fresh. If it was fresh, I think they would have been like a solid 8 out of 10. This guy is ballsy! On his bike? What is this guy doing, bro? beautiful semi truck right now and I'm trying to catch up to him just so I can show you guys this right, he's coming on this side now next truck stop is the pilot flying J which is about I would say like another 20 miles so to the pilot I have an early morning delivery tomorrow so I'm gonna wake up early um, make my delivery and then head straight to a truck stop to get some breakfast actually I gotta get some death too I forgot You guys remove the hot dogs, huh? That you guys don't have them anymore. Um, I'll just get a, I'll just get a pizza, uh, one slice, please. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a coffee too. We'll be right back. Oh, okay, sounds good. Just so we get the full brightness? Yeah, pretty good. 
All right, so we got the pizza right here. This, I mean, it's not bad, but it doesn't look good. That, that's, let's try it. This pizza right here reminds me so much of my son. This is my son's favorite pizza. When we come on the road. Did I buy him myself? Uh, uh, a cinnamon roll? <laughs> That's my little dessert. I'm gonna give this seven out of ten just because it's my son's favorite. Man, I, that bread was so chewy, my jaw hurts. Alright. Got my little coffee right now. It's gonna be my breakfast for the night. I mean my breakfast for the night. It's gonna be like my little before I go to bed. Which is pretty freaking scary. You guys don't know, the 152 is probably one of the most haunted highways. Um, so many accidents. There's always creepy stuff happening. Um, and this is, I, I think I've talked about this, but if, if you guys are new, um, damn it. Uh, it was probably like around two in the morning and you know when you feel like you see someone you kind of have to like like look back like that and i seen something in my peripheral so i looked like that and i looked back again and it was my grandma and i just heard her saying despacio 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 which means slow down slow down slow down cut to three weeks later i got into one of the worst car accidents in my entire life with all of my family it was me my wife and my two boys and she was pregnant we didn't know yet but she was pregnant with my third one at the time we flipped our Jeep five times and that day I was in a rush and right after that I just remembered my grandma telling me when I seen her despacio 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 and I was like damn like it all makes sense she was trying to warn me about this but it was crazy and we're just taking a nap here we're not gonna fully overnight here this the cinnamon roll from the truck stop if you didn't know that they had cinnamon rolls, um, they do. Mm. Not coffee. <sighs> Nauseous. <coughs> This is not a good idea. Oh. <coughs> I knew that pizza was not gonna be good. Definitely not a good idea. <sighs> uh, there's one thing I hate, it's the feeling of feeling nauseous. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got to my first delivery of the night. I'm feeling crappy. <laughs> I threw up a couple more times. Um, I I don't know if it was the pizza or what exactly it was, but whatever it was, it has me messed up, and I need to go to the restroom.
Go get these pallets off. Here's the paperwork. Yeah, I got a mess. Oh. Alright guys, so we're gonna pull up right here and I'm gonna get my first meal of the day. Alright, let's go see what they have. Alright guys, so I finally got the hot dog that I've been wanting and I know this is breakfast. It looks a little funky too, look at that. This is what truckers will have to settle for. A hot dog that looks like this. This hits the spot. And then I'm washing it down with the water. No! Man. I'm eating like a little kid. It's not that bad, but I know it's gonna hurt my stomach later. I almost have a Milky Way. 